Now that we have the files loaded, let's dig a little deeper and see what happens next. Whenever we load these calibration data, the next thing that basically WBPP is going to be doing is creating masters from the raw data. These are the raw data files. Now a little later I'll show you what happens when you already have master files created, already made. Uh, but this is the case where they need to be made on the fly. So we have biases and in the same tab here there is a related panel to the right. This panel shows the settings for image integration that will be used to create the masters for the biases in this case. There is a similar um, integration uh, instance here for darks, for flats, and of course ultimately lights it's more complex. Image integration is here but there are other things that are going to take place. So for the for the biases um, it's a simple case of image integration and the only thing that you would really ever change maybe is the rejection algorithm if you wanted to do it manually but ultimately I'm just going to recommend here um, I don't want to call it a default, but this, uh, this state of just having it choose a rejection method based on the number of frames is perfectly fine to do. That's all it's doing here is it's choosing one of these methods just based on the total number of frames. In general, you'll have a lot of bias frames if you're using a bias. Now again, it's not always that you have one of every kind of calibration file. But if you use biases, then you usually have a lot of them. So that's it. There's really no settings here. You just let it do its job. Now for darks, there is an additional thing here. That's an exposure tolerance. The optimization threshold, this deals with um, dark frame scaling. And I have an entire section on dark frame scaling. So I'm not going to uh, address that now. But And you don't need to touch it if you're not doing it. But the uh, exposure tolerance you should know about. This is one of three such fields that group data in some way based on their exposure time. But I want to stress that this exposure tolerance deals with the calibration side of things. Um, so in other words, if you wanted to have exposures grouped together, now why would you want to do that? I'll give you an example. If you have a DSLR image where the camera is not very accurate, it takes, uh, or maybe you're using the bulb setting, and it might take a, a 30 second exposure and then the next frame will be 31 seconds or something like that. It just won't match exactly to the decimal point. So what do you do in that situation? Because they are effectively the same time as far as a dark frame is concerned. You can group them together. That's why the kind of the default minimum tolerance here is two seconds. It means any f exposure time for a dark frame that is less than or equal to two seconds is going to be grouped together. Now, the, the difference here, these dark frames have a difference that's much greater than two seconds. If I wanted to group them just to demonstrate that I can, all I need to do is input a number that is bigger than this difference. I believe that 200 seconds is larger than the difference between these two. And so what you'll see is when I put in 200, they get grouped together. Now I have one big group that means that these are all going to be integrated together to produce a dark frame. Now that may, a uh, master dark. Now that may not be what you actually want. In this case, I would not want that. So I'll put this back to two. But that is how you group things together. You'll see this grouping of uh, exposure, uh, you know, grouping of exposure time in a couple of different places. And I'll point them out. I'll highlight them. Uh, the integration though of darks is exactly the same as the biases. Just let it do its thing. Now for the flats, um, again, Everything is cool here. You just let it do its thing. However, I will just mention one thing that the image integration, there are a, a couple of things that are set up behind the scenes. If you do this process manually, you worry about things like the normalization of the files and you use equal I fluxes and you use a multiplicative thing for the instead of additive with scaling. But that's already taken care of for you. Those are some technicalities that you should know is taking place, uh, but you don't need to make an adjustment. It is the proper way to uh, integrate flat field images in particular. So these, as you can see, are grouped by file, uh, excuse me, by filter. Um, and you'll notice here that, and uh, I don't need them here, I have extra filters loaded that I'm not using. The picture or the data that I was working on is just an RGB image, but it so happens I also have some uh, scientific filters here. It doesn't matter. It'll just waste time by creating masters of them that I'll never use. So if I wanted to get rid of them, 
you know, I can just remove them by removing the selected groups there. And then all I'll have left are the, uh, the red, green, and blue filters here. There's probably one more. Yep. Now, as far as the light frame panel is concerned, there's a lot of stuff here because um, after you do the calibration of file, it's only then when you've calibrated the light frames that you can do image integration. Uh, flats, by the way, also have a calibration that occurs, and we'll see that in a moment in the panel, that in order to produce the flat, not only do you have to set up the correct integration, but they are also calibrated, and we'll see that in just a moment. Same thing is true for lights, because flats are lights, light frames are lights, they need to be calibrated. Um, these settings I'm going to talk about in a little more detail shortly, but first I want to, because these are basically post-processing steps, which again are reflected over here in this list, um, I don't want to talk about them yet. Instead, what I want to talk about is still the calibration stuff. So then in the next panel we're going to see here um, all about the calibration and the matching of files that are necessary in order to properly calibrate each one.